Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff from Lutheran Church of the Resurrection. We are going through the Gospel of Luke and Acts of the Apostles as part of our Lenten readings. We're using uh, this uh, insert uh, that we have, and today is St. Patrick's Day. It is March 17th, and we are reading Acts 10 and Acts 11. So here's the thing. It's this great story about uh, Cornelius and the story about Peter and the sheet that comes down uh, in Acts 10. But I think really the question is, um, we're told in the beginning of Acts that the gospel of Jesus is going to go to the whole world. And it has been going to Samaria. It went to the Ethiopian eunuch. And, and now the question is, where next? Will this gospel reach some kind of barrier? Will it slow down? And the answer is no. It's going to go to one of the most amazing places ever, and that is to Cornelius. Why is that so amazing? Well, you know, we're told he's devout and, and he's a philanthropist. He, he gives, right, to the local synagogue and the people. But he is a Roman. He's a Roman centurion. He is part of the strong arm of an occupying army. The Holy Spirit should not be involved with Cornelius. And yet the Spirit is. You know, in fact, there's this great line, uh, surely that God shows no partiality. And what are we being told in, in Acts 10 and 11? But that God will be at work wherever it is that God desires to be at work, even if we don't think God should be there. Well, of course, we also have that great vision of, of the tablecloth, the picnic uh, that comes down from heaven and of all the unclean foods. And Peter is told, you know, to eat uh, uh, three times. And really, is it about the food? I'm not sure. I think more it's a setup uh, for Peter to begin to think about people. God does not make anything unclean. Therefore, all people are a part of what God is doing. Well, what's interesting is, uh, of course, that Peter has to, or Paul has to go back, uh, and Peter, I'm sorry, Peter has to go back to the head shed. He has to go back to Jerusalem, to the church. He has to kind of justify uh, what is going on? I think Acts is trying to remind us that the Holy Spirit is the actor. The Holy Spirit will blow and come where and where it wills. And we had best just get out of the way and allow the Lord Jesus to continue to proclaim the gospel of his love. God bless you.